My name is Barbara, and I'm your tour guide, and I'm going to show you today the Washington Monument. Actually, if you look behind me, you can see it. It's that big spike pointing up into the air, and it's called the Washington Monument because it's in honor of our very first president, George Washington. Right. Now, the Washington Monument is like a spike up into the sky, right? and it's 555 feet and 5 eighths inches tall. It's an obelisk, and that is the uh, form taken from Egyptian mythology. Now, this, uh, this monument is up on a little hill, like a pedestal, and if you look around, you see that there's buildings all around it. Now, that wasn't always the case. It was the first monument in Washington, and in the middle 1800s, there was a writer here. You've perhaps heard of him. His name was Mark Twain. And Mark Twain <clears throat> uh, saw that monument, but it didn't look like it did today. Now, just imagine for a moment and look closely as I speak. You see that about a third of the way up, the stone changes color. Can you see that? Where that line is that you see is the very place where they stopped building the monument because they ran out of money. And when Mark Twain saw the monument just a third of its current height, he called it our national chimney. And he spoke glowingly of the cows walking around it, chewing their cud, of the pigs sleeping in the sun, and those of you who have read Mark Twain, you know that he probably was not talking just about the animals. You can go up the Washington Monument in the elevator that reaches all the way to the top. And on the very top, right where you see the little pyramid, that's where there is a little cone six inches high, and it is made out of aluminum. Now, when it was placed there in 1888, aluminum was very expensive, very valuable. The cone actually was in Tiffany's before it was placed on top of the monument where it serves as a lightning rod. And when you are standing by the windows, right under those blinking red lights and looking out at the view, you can see on a clear day almost 70 miles, right? And right in front of you will be how that view looked when they built the monument. And you look up and you'll see how it is today.